Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to your low impact workout. I am Caitlin. Today we are starting a new phase. So it's phase seven, week one. Now I'm here to make upper push, lower pull. I would recommend a medium to lighter set of weights today. If you grab like a pretty light set, make sure you grab uh, one heavier dumbbell for some RDLs later in the workout. We are going to be starting with our pillar prep. So on our back, we'll go into a reverse scorpion. Right leg up, drop it across your body. Both shoulder blades touching the ground. And then switch over to that other side. Back and forth, a few reps here. Getting some motion through your low back. Perfect. Next, we are going to go into a 90-90 chest opener. So turning to the side, 90 degrees with your legs, 90 degrees with your arms. And we're going to exhale as we bring our arm up and over. And then inhale as you come back over. So opening up that chest, trying to get both shoulder blades to touch the ground. You might feel a nice little stretch through your upper back and your hips as well. Good, last one here. Perfect, flipping over, going to our other side. Exhale, let's come up and over. Really working on that rotation through your upper back. Last one. Perfect, we will flip over into a pillar bridge hold for just about 20 seconds. On your elbows, in three, two, one, we're on. So just holding nice and flat. If you wanna to modify to your knees to start off, that's just fine. Just staying nice and flat, engaging your core. Good, holding strong here, there's three, two, one, good, flipping over. We are going to go into all fours, into a bird dog. So we're gonna crunch in, elbow to knee, and extend out. Making sure you're engaging your core and crunch in, and then you're not um, bringing your leg up so high that you feel it in your spine. Just make sure you engage that glute when you extend. Just about four or five reps each side. Good, switching. And perfect. Once you finish those four or five reps, we are going to move into our movement prep. So it's gonna be about 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We're gonna be starting with a single leg RDL. So take on one leg. Bring it up, find that balance, and then come over into a single leg RDL, alternating side to side. Ready, in three, two, one, we are on. Finding that balance, holding for a second, and then switch sides. Just feel a nice little stretch, your hamstring. Also focusing on keeping your back flat. Chest comes over. Last one. Again, perfect. We are going to go down onto the ground into blue bridges. Pressing your heels down, hips come up. In three, two, one. We're on engaging those glutes right here. And your hips are not coming up so high that you feel a pinch in your back. Just enough to really engage your glutes. To add in a little bit of a challenge, don't let your hips come all the way down to the ground. Hover about a half an inch off at the bottom. And perfect. Good, we're gonna be flipping over to a pillar bridge. This time we're going to be going into a little bit of a hip twist, back and forth. Ready, three, two, 
One, good, nice strong color bridge. And then add in that twist. Wonderful job, there's 10 seconds to go. Staying flat here. There's three, two, one. Good, standing up next, we're going into some body weight squats. So picking one leg up, sliding down, other leg, finding that good stance, ready to go. We're just gonna be sitting low, standing up. In three, two, one, we're on. Good, focusing on pushing through both of your feet evenly as you stand. Keeping your weight in your heels, your midfoot, not going into your toes. And good, relax. Last one we're going to go into is a pillar march. So driving that knee up, alternating. If you want to take a high impact today, add in a little skip. Okay, three, two, one, we're on. Driving that knee up. Good, getting your heart rate up here. There's three, two, one, perfect. Quick drink if you need it. We're going back through those one more time. Starting with our single leg RPL. Okay, let's get ready to go. We have three, two, one. Good, focusing on finding that really nice balance. Coming to that bent over, or uh, Hip hinge position. Good, taking your time here. There's three, two, and one. Good, going down to our glute bridges next. Get ready to go in three, two, one, good, pushing those hips up. Good, finding that glute engagement. Nice job, team, there's three, two, one, perfect, flipping over. We're going to go into that pillar bridge with the hip twist. Getting ready to go in three, two, one. We're on, adding in that little twist with your hips, keeping your body nice and flat. Here we go, we have 10 seconds. Keep holding strong here. There's three, two, one, perfect. Okay, we will be going to our squats next. Last two here in our pillar back. Ready, three, two, one, we're on. Sitting back, standing up. Finding that power through your legs. Good, if you're doing a little bit shallow squats for round one, so you can get a little deeper here. Here's three, two, one, perfect. We're going into our pillar march, or if you're taking it up a notch, pillar skip. Getting ready, three, two, one, good, driving that knee up. Really nice job. 10 seconds. 
seconds. Finish it out here. Three, two, one. Awesome job. Grab a drink. Okay, so the last phase we focused on unilateral movements. This phase, we are taking up the intensity quite a bit. So we are doing two rounds of ESD. First round um, is going to be before our spring circuit, and then we'll do another round after that. We also have quite a bit of cardio um, big, like worked into our spring circuit as well. So you're gonna have your heart rate up the rest of today. So let's get ready to bring it. We are starting with two rounds of ESD. 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off, starting with a no jump burpee. So arms are up, you're gonna step back, step back up, stand up. If you wanna add in intensity, feel free to jump, feel free to add in the push up, whatever works best for you. Okay, ready? Here's three, two, one. We are on no jump burpees. Just because you're not jumping doesn't mean they can't be quick. Getting down, getting up. If you need to modify down to a couch or a chair, set it down to the ground, go for it. There's three, two, one, perfect. Next one are going to be mountain climbers. So in a plank position, you're gonna be driving one knee up and then the other. If you wanna take it up a notch, keep it quick. Driving those knees up, alternating. In three, two, one. We are on driving those knees up here. Still holding on to that form, even though you're making this exercise nice and quick here, challenging yourself. Three, two, one. Perfect. We are going into a one, one, two push press. So we'll grab that light set of weights, medium to light, little squat, punch, little squat, punch, little squat, both. Okay, use the power from your legs. In three, two, one, good. So little, one, one, two, good. Standing back in those heels, bring that power right here. Good, one more round. And perfect, set those weights down. We are going through all those one more time. For now, <laughs> we're gonna do them quite a few times today. Okay, getting ready to go for that no jump burpee. In three, two, one, we are on. Good, switch which leg you're stepping back with. If you're taking the low impact version. Nice, three, two, one, perfect. Going into our mountain climbers next. You can also modify this one up to a couch or chair. Okay, three, two, one. We are on driving that knee up. Keep it quick here. Yeah, it's in 10 seconds. Keep pushing it. There's three, two, one. Perfect. Grabbing those weights. One, one, two, push press. Okay. Go in about five seconds. Getting ready to bring that intensity in three, two, one. We're on a little squat, punch, punch, and then both arms, nice. How many rounds can you get through on this one? Last one. Nice job, good. Set those weights down. Really, really nice. Grab a drink. Ooh. Okay. We are moving into 
our cardio strength circuit next. So we have six exercises, three of them you already know. <laughs> We're moving those ESC exercises right into this section. Uh, the other exercises we're going to do are push-ups, RDLs, and tricep kickbacks. So I'll just explain those as we go. Starting a push-up, so you can be in your knees or your toes, keeping your core nice and tight. Now, press up. Again, it'll be 20 on, 20 off, just like our ESD section. So we're really bringing that power and that speed when you are on. Okay, we're going to get ready to go. Trying to get really nice reps in here for our push-ups. In three, two, one. We are on nice, strong push-ups. Push that ground away from you. 20 seconds is short and sweet. We only have two rounds through this section today. There's three, two, one. Perfect. Next, we are going to be going into our no jump burpee that you already know. Bring that speed again. Ready to go? <laughs> Let's bring it in three, two, one. We are on. Again, stepping back, stepping back up, and stand. Yeah, team. Five seconds to go. There's three, two, and one. Awesome job. Next one, we'll be going into an RDL. So if you do have a heavier weight, grab that. If you have your light set, that is just fine. You're going to be sitting back. Hips go back. Keep the weights close. Halfway down your shins. Stand up. Ready? Three, two, one. Good. Really hitting those hamstrings right here. Check in if you feel any pressure in your low back. It means you're probably rounding your back. Keep it flat. Last one. And perfect. We will be going into our mountain climbers next. Little tip, my wrists are starting to hurt. So you can always use your weight um, to keep your wrist nice and flat. That's what I'm gonna start doing. Ready, three, two, one. Whatever works best for you. Nice job, 10 seconds here. There's three, two, one, perfect. Stand up, shake it off. Next, we have tricep kickbacks. So, weight are in your hands, elbows in, kick back, hold for a second, and come back forward. No movement in those upper arms. Ready? Three, two, one. We're on kick back. Good, each one of these exercises is short. Bring that focus and intention to each rep. Here's three, two, one, perfect. We have that one, one, two, push press. Next, to finish off round one, we'll get a little bit bigger breather. Okay, grabbing those weights. You know this one, increase that intensity. In three, two, one little squat, and punch, punch, and both. Nice. Nice job, team. Trying to get four rounds here. And perfect. Set those weights down. Relax. Grab a drink. Get a nice 40-second breather. Okay, we just have one more round through those. Really bringing that speed, that focus. If you can increase the intensity on any of those, go for it. We do have another round of ESD, just like we did at the beginning after this. 
Okay, let's get ready for those push-ups. Starting in three, two, one. We are on. Push the ground away from you. How many reps can you get in right here? There's three, two, one. Perfect. Good, we'll go into that no jump burpee next. If you ever need to add in that modification to go to a couch or a chair to not go quite as low, add that in. Okay, starting in three, two, one, we are on. Nice, less than 10 here. Trying to get in one to two more reps. There's three, two, one, perfect. Going into our RDLs next. Grabbing those weights. Okay, chest is strong, shoulders back. In three, two, one, we're on. Good, you should feel that nice little pull through your hamstrings. Good, there's three, two, one. Awesome job. Going into our mountain climbers next on the ground. Okay, getting ready to bring that speed here if you can. You need to slow it down to hold that form. Listen to your body. Ready? We are on right here. Good, staying flat. Shoulders right over your hands. There's three, two, one, perfect, standing up. We are going into our tricep kickbacks next. When you extend your arms, holding for an extra second to really hit those triceps. Find that engagement. Okay, three, two, one, we're on. Kick back, hold for a second. Good, if your weights are a little heavy for this one, you might not be able to hold. Just make sure you're not swinging. Here's three, two, one. Good, set those weights down for a few seconds. One, one, two, push press. Last one in our strength and cardio circuit. Okay, getting ready to bring it. Shake out those hands. Woo, we're getting ready to go. Three, two, one. Little squat, big punch. Good, nice team. Four rounds here. There's three, two, one. Perfect. Set those weights down. Really nice job. Grab a drink. You ready for some more ESD? Woo, yes. Okay, so we're going back to our no jump burpee, mountain climbers, one, one, two, push press. You've had a lot of practice with this today, so bring it home these last two rounds, okay? We got it. Gonna give you another 20 seconds or so to breathe. Then we're going right into our burpees. Okay, hey, adding any in any modifications that you need for these last two rounds. Okay, let's get rolling. In three, two, one. Burpees, we are on. Good, keep them quick here. Somewhere between four to six reps. 
finding your pace. There's three, two, one, perfect. Ooh, going for our mountain climbers next. You can add in that little jump, increase the speed right here. Okay, starting in three, two, one. We are on driving that knee up. Good, checking in, staying nice and flat. Do this. We got it. Finish it out. There's three, two, one. Perfect. One, one, two, push press. Again, four rounds. One, one, two equals one round. Okay. In three, two, one. Good. Power from your legs. Drive it up. Good, one more round. There's one. One and two. Wonderful job. Set those weights down. Shake it up for a few seconds. We have one final round. One minute of work left to go. Starting with that no jump burpee. Okay, bringing it. Three, two, one. We are on. Trying to beat last round by one rep. You can get it in. There's three, two, one. Perfect. Going into our mountain climbers next. Okay, getting ready to go. Bring that speed in three, two, one. We are on. Driving that knee up. Good, 10 seconds. Speeding it up here if you can. Last round of the day. Three, two, one, perfect. One, one, two, push press. Last one before our regen. Okay, starting three, two, one, four rounds. One, one, two, good, push it. Last one, you might get an extra rep or two here. Really nice, set those weights down. Grab a drink, walk it off. Amazing job. Woo. Okay, so each week we're gonna keep progressing through these. The time that time on is going to increase, the rest is going to decrease. So keep coming back each week and focus on progressing, getting better, and yeah, keep moving. So arms are up, reach down in the middle. Sit back in your heels, stretch out your hamstrings. Just let your head hang, everything in your back, relax. Wonderful, slowly, slowly, slowly come up, reach up tall and then down to our left side. Trying to stretch out that left hamstring just a little extra, keeping your legs straight. We'll take our right hand, let's up and over. You can come up your leg a little bit more, bringing that stretch into your shoulder, chest, and hip. Good, a little cartwheel down to our right, stretching our hamstring first. 
And then slowly coming up, just go into that full side body stretch. Good, coming up, we'll go down in the middle. You can have your feet nice and wide like I do. Drop that head, you're gonna sit into your heels. We're going into that nice low squat. If this is too low or it feels uncomfortable, you can stay up a little bit higher. Just bring your elbows on the inside of your knees. If you can relax down into this position, you might wanna bring your feet in or further out, whatever feels best for you. You can rock side to side here. Nice little hip stretch. We'll come back to that bent over position. Legs are straight. Head is dropped down towards the ground. And wonderful, we'll come down to a seated position. Good, let's go all the way onto our back, pulling our right knee in towards our chest. Give it a little pinch. And then take that knee and pull it closer to your shoulder or armpit. Be a nice wide stretch through your hip flexor and deeper into your hip. Now taking that right hand on the outside of your right foot, bring your right arm on the inside of your right knee. We'll do a half uh, happy baby <laughs> pose. So opening up that hip, Feel like a really nice stretch right here. You might even feel a stretch through your low back as well. Perfect, we'll drop that leg, go into our left side. So first, just pulling our knee in towards our chest. Then going to the shoulder or armpit, opening up that hip a little bit more. Then we'll take our left hand on the outside of our left foot, and then our arm comes to the inside of our left knee, opening up into a half happy baby. Send that breath to any spot where you feel really a lot of tightness or tension. Wonderful and relax down. You're going to turn to one side and stretch out our quad next, last stretch of the day. You can have your arm out, grab at your ankle, not at your foot, and press your top hip forward, pushing your top knee down towards your bottom leg. So you get a really nice stretch through your quad and hip flexor. Good, extend that leg, shake it out a little bit, and then come back in. Wonderful, flipping on over to your other side, last stretch of the day. Okay, grabbing at that ankle, not at your toes. Pressing that top hip forward. Top knee comes down towards that bottom leg. Good, shake it out and come back in again. Last one. Wonderful, extend that leg. Thank you so much for coming today. I really, really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. If you can stay on, we have Express Abs next in about five minutes. So just hold on tight. Thanks. <laughs>